If you are planning to buy your first home in Scotland, it's really, really important to keep making your payments on time. And in today's episode, I'm going to talk you through the reasons behind that. Now, there is three main reasons that you should be making your payments on time every time. And the first one is how your payment history is going to impact your mortgage. So I'll cover that off today so that you understand. I'll help you understand the consequences of having late payments on your credit report. And they'll also be providing some key tips on how to pay your bills on time. So payment history and your mortgage. So lenders are going to be looking at your credit report to see how you've handled debts in the past. Now, while a high credit score isn't always a guarantee that you're going to get a mortgage, what it will do is it will put you into a better position. But that doesn't all mean that a low credit score, you can't get a mortgage because what some lenders are looking at is how you're managing your debts rather than how high your credit score actually is, how you're managing that. And if you can prove through your credit report when the lender checks it out that you're actually managing your credit fine, you've just got a low score, then well, some lenders anyway are going to be happy to lend. Late payments, missed payments, um, collections, all of these kind of things can hurt your credit score. And by late payment, I mean, if you've missed a payment, even by one day, that's classed as a late payment by a lender. And it's graded in the same way that a missed payment is by most credit agencies. So when a lender goes to check your credit file, even if you've paid it five days later or six days later, or even one day later, that will get reported to the credit reference agencies and it will show as a missed payment, even if it's just been late. Also, a history of not making your payments in time, it could reduce your chances of getting a mortgage. Now, one payment in isolation is usually okay, um, but typically speaking, if you've got a history of being late, it could impact your chances of getting a mortgage or, or certainly it could increase the deposit that you're going to have to put down or increase the mortgage rate that you're likely to pay. There are a number of consequences as well to late payments. So a late payment, it can stay in your credit report up to seven years. Now, generally speaking, they would say six. However, I've seen credit reports recently from um, over, that are over seven years old that are still showing these missed and late payments. During that time, it is going to have an impact in your score and it will keep your score low if you've had this consistently over a period of time and it will make it more difficult to get a mortgage or a, a mortgage with a decent interest rate. It could also impact you in other ways. So, for example, if you can't get a mortgage, you might be looking to rent. If you're not paying your bills on time, um, an estate agent or a landlord might turn around and not allow you to rent their property because you've got that history of not making your payments on time. You might not be able to get finance. So, for example, if you were going out to get a car, or you might not even be able to get uh, a job that you're going for if you're working in a regulated environment. So, say, for example, somewhere like a bank or, or possibly even an insurance company, some, somewhere that's going to be checking your credit history. So some key tips on how to make sure that you're paying your bills on time. Set up a budget and track your spending. Make sure that you know what you're spending your money on. Uh, what I would usually suggest as well is getting a separate account set up for bills and paying these bills via direct debit so that you don't have to remember. And make sure that you've got enough your money in your account to manage your bills. What a lot of banks will do as well, which is pretty clever, is they will send a text notification. So if you exceed your limit, so if you've got, say, an overdraft of £100 and you go over that, some banks will send you a message confirming that that's been done. If you can rectify that the same day, or usually by a cut-off time in that day, banks are happy with that and they don't general, generally report it to the credit agencies. If you are struggling, ask for help as early as you possibly can. There's lots of date help charities out there. So if you are struggling to pay your bills, always ask for help early in the process and that can help mitigate the risks further down the line. So there is some uh, one key bonus tip that I've got for you and something that, that I can see, not, not often, but it crops up is if you're in dispute with a company. Now, my advice is that if you are in dispute with a company, pay the bill and then dispute it to get your money back. The reason that I would suggest that is, and it might not sit right with you, if you're trying to get a mortgage and you owe someone 50 quid 
And if you don't pay that 50 quid, they're going to send you to a debt collection company. And that's going to be on your credit report. It's going to sit there as a default. That's going to impact your chances of getting a mortgage with some lender. Some lenders will turn around and say no. So I would suggest if you are in dispute with a company, get it paid and then continue the dispute. Now, if you don't get anywhere with them, then you can raise it to the ombudsman in that industry. But it's really, really important to remember that even if it's not your fault, these things are still going to show in your credit report if you've refused to make a payment. It happens quite often with things like mobile phone contracts. So my suggestion would be pay it and then dispute it and get your money back that way. But I hope you found this useful. And if you have, don't forget to give it a like and please subscribe. Cheers.